touch today i will be styling my eight week old synthetic wig if you guys can recall this was the first style that i did and a lot of people loved it in real life and they also loved it online but the image wasn't as clear but this style was very popular and very pretty in my day-to-day -day life so i thought i would come back and try another style using this same unit not only is my wig eight weeks old but the press in this video is eight weeks old and shortly after i ended up doing my whole routine over again and washing my hair and doing my whole routine so this synthetic wig ended up being very useful for styling old flat ironed hair i'm beginning by taking out my leave out which i'm going to take out the leave out on both sides of my edges and then my leave out in the center once again, you don't want to take out too much because it's going to make it very hard to style your hair. You just want to take out just enough hair to blend with the unit. I want to turn my phone off, but that's where all my friends are. What do I do? Why is it so hard to find someone new so far away? All the days that I used to have someone right beside me. Now I can find in my phone screen It's tiring Just wanna feel something Lonely nights talking the pixels I don't go out, don't intermix with the crowd And I wonder why I'm sitting all alone Staring at my phone or I just want a connection Is that so? So this is the amount of hair that I'm taking out and the rest of the hair I'm going to pull back in a ponytail because I do not have braids, my hair is out. So I'm going to put it back in a ponytail to have the wig lay flat. That's so hard to ask for. I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no phone steady, phone steady. I really hate the wig on this comb because it pulls on the hair. If you have time, you should probably go in and put in your own wig clips to secure this wig. I was just too lazy to do that. So I just bobby pinned it down and it worked out for me. But I would advise you install your own wig clips. If you're going to use bobby pins, make sure you apply enough bobby pins to secure the wig to your hair. You want to make sure that that wig is not going to go anywhere. With the crowd and I wonder why I'm sitting all alone Staring at my phone Or I just want A connection Is that so Hard to ask for I just want something that's real That's alive Don't want no white noise on the other line I just want A connection Is that so Hard to ask for I just want something that's real now I'm just going to take my hair and smooth it down initially, just getting my hair acclimated to the wig <laughs> so that it can blend and I'm beginning to blend it in with the unit. I'm not using any product because once again, this wig is going to come off in the evening. I do not sleep with my wigs on because they are synthetic and I heard it's very taboo to sleep with your wigs on. I'm sure there are some people who do, but I do not. If you know a way to sleep with your synthetic wigs, make sure that you comment it down below. I would love to know. Right here, I'm making sure that the back is pulled over my bun because you do not want your bun to be exposed. It's embarrassing. And I'm going to take my leave out and pieces of 
the synthetic wig and start to twist them together and bobby pin them into place. That is my blending technique for this particular wig. Don't like that you know my order when we're out to eat and you pay for me. Cause I don't wanna be someone loving, loving, looking dumb. But you don't care. You go on and make me feel things that I don't wanna feel. So I get scared. Every time you open up, I'm shutting down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, take pieces of the synthetic hair and twist it with my natural hair. A big knot developed into this hair as you guys can see and so I'm going to use this opportunity to use the product that I have been working on for months to develop and I'm just going to take a little bit of this product, just drops rub it between my hand and rub it onto the fibers of the hair and guys this product is going to melt away the tangles that is created in synthetic hair and so if you're interested in this product it will be launching soon make sure to subscribe every time you come in i push you out saying i don't I'm showing you the residue of the product that's on my hand and I'm just gonna wipe it away because I do not want this product on my natural hair. Uh, it's non-toxic, but I just don't want the product to be applied to my natural hair. So I'm going to go back to retwisting the synthetic hair with my hair and bobby pinning it in place. You know I like you, I do. And when I say I don't need you, I just mean I need to. Take my time with you Every time you open up, I'm shutting down Every time you come in, I push you out I'm saying I don't want you, but you know I do Girl, I hate to love you, so I love to hate you Ooh, I love you, I hate you, I love to hate you Ooh, I love you, I hate you, I love to hate you Ooh, So it's already looking pretty good. I'm kind of annoyed by that one bobby pin that I put too high, but I plan to fix it later on in this video. Next, I'm going to take the hair on the sides and make sure to pull it down by my ears because I don't want all the hair back. I kind of want it covering my ears as well. That's just a personal preference to further exaggerate the half up half down style kind of thing or half pin back half down style and i'm just fluffing the hair because i like the hair to be big and kind of frizzy i don't really like this curl pattern to be defined So as you guys can see, I went in and fixed the bobby pin. That's why I'm showing you right here. Now I wanted to add some jewelry to the hairstyle, but I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out and I was being very indecisive. And I didn't really have a headband, I had a strip of fabric to go off of, but I was trying to make it work. As you can see, I can't decide, should I use it, should I not use it? Let me know down below what you guys think. Did you prefer the style with the makeshift headband or without the makeshift headband? So anyway, I decided to go with the makeshift headband and I just took two bobby pins and pinned it into my hair. And so this is what it looks like from another angle. Very flowy, very nice. And of course, I gotta hit you guys with how it looks like in the natural lighting because that is very important. Hold up, this video is not over yet. 
So as you may or may not know, on this channel we do a lot of giveaways and we have one that is currently ongoing it's still accepting entries but it has not been activated yet and we still wanted to go ahead and do something fun for christmas that not only honors our lord and savior but also helps to revive the spirit so we decided to do a scavenger hunt this scavenger hunt is low entry barrier to the scavenger hunt it's not like the other giveaway basically you don't have to purchase anything but there are some rules so I will let Josso take over and tell you the rules for this scavenger hunt. Hey everybody, it's Josso. So here's the rules for the scavenger hunt. Step number one, you must be subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do. Step number two, you have to be 18 years or older. Um, if you're under the age of 18, just make sure to get consent from your parent or guardian stating it's okay for you to be involved in the scavenger hunt. Step number three, you're gonna go over and click the link down below in the description box. That's going to lead you over to the scavenger hunt so that you can start answering the questions. Step number four, you're gonna answer all the questions and then hit the submit button. Step number five, upon completion of the scavenger hunt, your responses will then be corrected and you will be notified via email if you had any that were right or wrong. If you had any answers that were incorrect, um, you don't have to worry, you have unlimited tries to try to get the, the answer that you had wrong right. Um, just go in and edit your responses. You have unlimited tries up until the giveaway closes um, sometime on Christmas Day. I don't know the time yet, but it will be updated down below in the description box. Step number seven, if all your answers are 99.99% correct, the final step will then be to leave this word down below in the comment section of this video. Completed. Step number eight, if you already entered into the other giveaway we have currently open, you still have the opportunity to do the scavenger hunt and um, still have the opportunity to win as well. So thank you guys so much and we hope you enjoy the scavenger hunt. I love you better today than yesterday.